Yes. Uh, good evening, trustees, superintendents, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Before I begin, I want to express my uh, gratitude and thankfulness to everyone involved for my being able to exercise my democratic rights. So for all those past and present. <clears throat> my name is Randall O'Malley. My son is in grade four and has been a student at Hartsdale Avenue Public School since junior kindergarten at the formal, formal Neil C. Matheson Public School. My wife, Helen O'Malley, is a member of the school, student council and a regular volunteer at the school. I am here to address the undisputable facts relating to the recent renaming of Hartsdale Avenue Public School to the Janet McDougall Public School. There was not a need to change the name of the school. The name change did not benefit the major stakeholders, being the students, staff, and surrounding community in any way. Furthermore, this unnecessary name change was implemented immediately, literally overnight, without warning or a transition period. This has resulted in undeniable confusion and disruption for all significant parties involved. School names are important. They contribute to the identity of students and staff and the surrounding community at large. School names are much too important to be decided by a few trustees <laughs> in secrecy or private. The process should be open and include the major stock stakeholders, the students and parents, and it should respect the will of those participants. The current process is not open. The proposal and vote for changing the name of Archdale Avenue Public School took place in a private meeting. There was no need for the meeting to be private. In fact, it was counter to clearly established guidelines. A spokesman spokesperson for the Ontario Ministry of Education has said, the expectation is that a school change, school name change be made in a public setting. Furthermore, according to the PDSB website, trustees are responsible to work in partnership with school councils. There was no consultation whatsoever regarding changing the name of Hartsdale or the implementation of that name change. Also, the Peel District School Board has clearly established rules regarding school naming conventions, and the cause of Janet McDougall is fourth on that list. According to the PDSB website, trustees are responsible to demonstrate fiscal accountability and to ensure the allocation of resources to support the board's policies and programs. Hartsdale Principal Beatrice Jankowski told the, student, the school council that there is, I quote, a desperate shortage of books in the classrooms. Students have to share textbooks, bring classroom supplies from home, like glue sticks, paper, cleanings. And they fundraise to pay for simple day class trips and gym equipment. The trustees have ignored the financial cost in implementing the Hartsdale name change. How much will the name change cost? We don't know, but it won't be free. There are expenses, both monetary and for personnel time needed to make changes. For example, the Hartsdale Public School Library has 7,000 books. They all need to be relabeled. That will cost both time and money. School visitor passes and staff passes, which are hard laminated cards, have already been printed. Another cost. A large, professionally matted and framed commemorative picture was presented to Janet McDougall on December 1st at the board meeting. That cost something. The actual meeting at which the school name change was voted on also incurred unnecessary costs. This particular school naming was, and is, a misappropriation of public funds. The PDSB Board of Trustees continues to name schools after actively serving trustees. This is a conflict of interest. According to the PDSB website, trustees are to avoid any conflict of interest within the spirit and letter of the law. One of the three schools that merged to become Hartsdale Avenue Public School was Neil C. Matheson Junior Public School. It was given this name in a special ceremony on June 25, 1972. Mr. Matheson was a very respected and dedicated principal in Lakeview for 33 years. One of the other schools, Linwood, was named after the entire Lind family, 
who many years ago donated the very land that the new school is being built upon. The school could be named after either one of these parties with little or no disruption or expense. So in fact, renaming the school after Janet McDougald, or anyone else for that matter, erases the remembrance of these two very worthy parties. The decision appears to be completely in the personal interest of the trustees, certainly the 11 who voted. From the PDSB website, trustees have an individual responsibility to represent the constituents of their respective ward or wards to the best of their ability. If Trustee Janet McDougall was deliberately excluded from the vote to rename Hartsdale Public School in her honour, how were her constituents represented? The constituents have loudly and clearly expressed their dissatisfaction with the school name change. Yet Janet McDougall has refused to decline the honour, and the other 11 trustees refuse to rescind the honour. They are therefore in clear violation of their responsibility to represent the constituents of their wards. In closing, the Peel District School Board daily stresses to students the integral values of honesty, caring, cooperation, respect, responsibility, uh, and inclusiveness. inclusiveness. It's on the back of their agendas which they're given at the beginning of each school year. And along with that is the mission statement, building a positive climate for learning and working together. The actions of the PDSB Board of Trustees in renaming Hartsdale Avenue Public School are in direct opposition to these values. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, um, if, uh, I would very much appreciate if you could give your notes to our uh, recording uh, secretary so that we can uh, answer your, uh, your delegation uh, accurately. Thank you. Are there any questions of uh, clarification of the delegation? I see none. So um, as per our uh, procedure process, uh, we will answer your delegation at our next board meeting on January the 24th. And that will be in the public session and you'll be sent uh, a, a copy of that response uh, to your home. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Pardon me? Would we receive a copy before the meeting or after? Well, you, uh, no, it will be available uh, as, as our agenda is available on the Friday morning before the 24th. Okay, thank you very much. Yes.